Hello, hello, and welcome back. Right, a bit of the uh, Fred in the Shed health and safety video this time. Something a little bit different anyway. Now, these kind of Chinese power supplies, power adapters, battery chargers, whatever you want to call them. Um, obviously, you know, you, you, you buy something on eBay, it comes with a rechargeable battery, and they send you something pretty much like this. Um, I don't know, you know, it depends what country that uh, you come from, but pretty much lethal. Why is it lethal? Well, obviously, as you can see in here, you know, you've got no real sort of protection from the uh, neutral and the live. So when you tend to plug these things in, and then you uh, put these into your power outlet, over time, with the weight of the battery, these things tend to sort of end up hanging out like this. And as you can see, you've quite clearly got two live pins there sticking out of your wall socket. Um, yeah, maybe a child or something could get their fingers in there, but if you've got a utensil like a knife or something, you can easily short that. It's not something you want, is it? You don't want two live pins coming out of your socket. Also, this little part itself, this is the, uh, the dangerous part really, um, depending on what country you live in, I, I know sort of most of the western countries, America, Australia, this one isn't too bad because as you can see it's got these little plastic kind of covers here so when you push this into the wall socket then uh, you haven't got any pins exposed. On this one for example, this has not got any. So this is probably a CE approved, probably on there somewhere, this one is not. So once again, when this is, if you don't push that fully into your wall socket, you end up with the two pins being exposed. Yet again, very, very dangerous, especially as these things obviously aren't earthed. You're only using the uh, positive and the return. So what can you do? You can't really throw this away because these are normally uh, Pacific to the batteries that uh, you're going to buy. So what I try and do, firstly, is when I'm looking on the, uh, the actual listing on eBay, what I try and do is find, look at the charger. Sometimes they show you the whole package, what you're going to get. And I know if you're buying from China, you know, obviously you don't get that. I try and buy from uh, a brand in, in my own country. Yeah, you might spend a couple of quid more, two or three pounds maybe, you know, three or four dollars, five dollars more. But as you can see on these two chargers, from this side, they look completely uh, the same. But when you turn over on the back, this has an entirely different system for connecting a UK adapter. And they supply with a UK adapter. It's got the uh, Pacific plastic shielding there onto the, on the pins. And what this one does is this one slides and locks in place. Can you see that? And now, when you put that into the wall socket, there's no way is that going to end up sort of hanging out and you're going to have live pins sticking out. So th these ones are much better. So I'd suggest that when you look on the listing, well, just see if they show the, uh, the actual recharger or adapter. So, okay, well, that's all very well, isn't it? But what can you do if, uh, you know, it comes from the post and that's what you get? Well... Here's another one that, uh, that sort of happens to me. Now what I tend to do is just get a little bit of super glue and just run a small amount of super glue just on the, around the adapter here. And I'll just quickly do this on camera. And it doesn't have to be super glue. Um, super glue works particularly well once you can get it out of the tube. But any form of glue will do and it will just help to prevent this charger or adapter from hanging out of your plug socket. Uh, it's not perfect, I'm not saying it's the perfect solution, but I'm just saying that it will, act, it will help. So there we go, give that a good push, and uh, that's that's job done. That just makes it that little bit safer, especially if you've got the, uh, if you've got the shielding. So, just a short little uh, video there from Fred in the Shed. Um, yeah, you know, these things, well, they, they are pretty sort of dangerous really. I mean, you, you know, sometimes you get what you're given, but like I say, if you glue these on, um, it does help to minimize the risk. 
Okay, thanks for watching, as always, and uh, I will catch you all on the next one. But as for now, cheers. Bye-bye then.